Looking for your telescope, take me on this journey home, I don't wanna wait no Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Hope. Today I'm gonna be going over all of my loungewear. I'll be organizing all the brands by most expensive to least expensive. So the first brand that I have is the most expensive that I have to show, but it's also my favorite one and it's Essentials. And I get mine at Paxson, but I know that they also carry it at Essence. So I don't have that many just because it is on the pricier side. But I do have two of their hoodies. I look like a basic hoodie from the front because it doesn't have any design. It does have the logo embroidered onto one of the sleeves. And then it does say Essentials on the back. And it's made out of this reflective material. I think it's called 3M. The last detail on this is that on the hoodie it says essentials in this patch. I do have two of their sweatpants in black and gray and it just has that same patch on the front and on the left leg it says essentials in that same reflective material. Get an extra extra small in the sweatpants and they are a little bit on the longer side since I'm only 5'2". Essentials is by far my favorite lounger brand. Even though it is a bit on the pricier side, I definitely think it is worth it if you're able to splurge on them. I've had all of these since 2019 and they're one of my most worn loungewear but the quality and condition of it has remained exactly the same. The next place is one of my favorites as well and it's a smaller business and I think their Instagram is called Shopfalla. The quality of their items feel really nice but the best part is they do have these cool unique prints on a lot of their pieces. These first two are made out of the same material. It's fleece line on the inside so it's super soft and comfortable and the material is really thick and I do have the matching joggers to both of those so for the brown joggers it also has that same planet print has this little patch in the front which i really like they're super thick and just feel really nicely made the other set that i have from falla is just this black one and this one is a little bit of a thinner material it's not fleece line the bottoms are made out of a similar material as the crew neck and it just has that same patch with the logo on the waistband. This place that I have is Pepper Mayo and I just have a couple of pieces from them, but I do think the quality on their pieces are really nice. So I do have two of their sweatpants and I really like the fit of those. I think it's a perfect length and the thing I like is the material is a bit on the thicker side, so it's not see-through, especially for being white. And it is a fleece line material, so it is super comfortable. This crew neck is also the matching crew neck to the nude sweats. Honestly, just a basic crew neck, so it's nice to have, but I don't think it's a must-have like the joggers this is the other crew neck that i have from them so the quality does feel really nice and well made so the next place that i have is seven wonders first one is made out of a thicker material it feels exactly like the pepper mayo material so it is fleece lined on the inside and it's super comfortable but the blue one is made out of a thinner material it does still feel really nicely made but it just isn't fleece lined and personally if i'm gonna be wearing loungewear i prefer to be fleece lined the next place i have is champion and both of these are from urban outfitters and I got them a while ago, so I don't think they're available anymore. The same exact hoodie in just this patchwork design, but the inside of these are fleece lined, so it is super soft and comfortable. And I love how oversized these fit. Pretty sure that each one of these retailed for around 69, but I actually got both of them half off. So it's kind of like a buy one, get one free. I definitely recommend getting the Urban Outfitters app just so you can be notified of any flash sales. The next place I have is IMGia. So I have two pairs of joggers from them. Pretty sure each one retails at 90, but I did get both of them discounted because I bought them off of Tiger Mist. The actual IMGia website doesn't have sales that often. So I would definitely recommend checking out Tiger Mist. I get a size extra, extra small in both of them and they are a little bit on the longer side on me the white one is the one i got at first and it was super soft and comfortable it's probably one of the softest sweatpants that i own because i really liked how these ones felt it made me want to get another one which i ended up getting these tie-dye green ones this one did not feel the same as the white one not fleece lined in the inside and personally i prefer my sweatpants to be fleece lined just because i find that more comfortable so i never end up actually wearing these overall i would say the img sweats are great if you want more unique and fun prints like this one but personally wouldn't pay full price for them so i would definitely just keep an eye out for sales two pieces of laundry from opali look like a basic jogger but the quality feels really nice i would say it's Pretty similar to the Pepper Mayo and the Falla stuff. I know they always have matching crop tops in the same exact color, so I think 
they're a great place to get matching sets. So next up, I have Urban Outfitters. All of them are kind of the same thing. It's these tie-dye crewnecks that were really popular at one point in the summer. They're honestly super comfortable because it's really oversized and it has that worn in feel. They're pretty pricey, but I did get them on sale. Just like I mentioned with the Champion thing, if you have the Urban Outfitters app, they notify you of any flash sales. And I do have one of the matching joggers and I would say the joggers are not worth the price. I feel like the sweatpants are really thin. I do have another pair of sweatpants from Urban and this one is another tie-dye one. Feels like a blanket because it's super soft. Next place I have is Brandy Melville and I have two pairs of joggers from them. The Rosa sweatpants are one of my favorites because I love the fit of it and I find that the Brandy Melville sweats are a pretty good length if you're on the shorter side like I am. So the quality isn't as great as Essentials or even the Fala or Pepper Mayo stuff. I think it's a better quality than things like Pretty Little Things. So next place I have is Boohoo and they're one of my favorite places to get more affordable Loungewear. I actually feel that their loungewear is better quality than places like Pretty Little Thing even though both of them are more affordable. I do have my favorite joggers from them which is the mix and match oversized joggers. So I have them in black, white, and gray. I got this hoodie recently from Boohoo that kind of looks like those champion ones that I just showed. I do have some sweatshirts from Boohoo that just have graphic prints on them. Just be warned that Boohoo carries a ton of different loungewear items so the quality is obviously going to vary based on what you get. This place is Pretty Little Thing and they're also another affordable place to get loungewear. I only have one sweatshirt from them and it's just one of their basic sweatshirts that I feel like a lot of people have. It is pretty comfortable. It's fleece lined in the inside and it honestly feels like the Gildan ones that I own, but I do like how they have some different color options that the Gildan ones don't offer. And I have two pairs of sweats from them. And I like the fit of both of these and they're both comfortable, which is why I kept them. They're fleece lined in the inside. The next place is Yes Style, and I don't have the crewnecks with me because my sister borrowed them. I'd say the quality of the Yes Style ones, at least for these two specific ones, are really nice. The material is really thick and they're fleece lined. The last place I have is the cheapest laundry that I own in my entire collection. I get mine at Wardens, but it's the brand Gildan. So I do have the hoodie from them, and this is just the Gildan hoodie. This is their crew neck, and it, obviously it comes blank, but I did use it for a DIY project. It's my entire laundry collection, and I tried to go everything really quickly, so I hope Hopefully the video wasn't too long. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.